Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss neurodevelopmental disorders. Neurodevelopmental disorders are disabilities in the functioning of the brain that influence a child's behavior, memory, or ability to learn. A common feature of neurodevelopmental disorders is that they manifest in the early stages of development. Often the symptoms appear before the child enters school or during the early stages of schooling. These disorders result in hampering personal, social, academic, and occupational functioning. Neurodevelopmental disorders get characterized as deficits or excesses in a particular behavior or delays in achieving a particular age-appropriate behavior. If not attended to, they can lead to more serious and chronic disorders as the child moves into adulthood. Here are the four major types of neurodevelopmental disorders. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder The two main features of ADHD are inattention and hyperactivity impulsivity. Children who are inattentive find it difficult to sustain mental effort during work or play. They have a hard time keeping their minds on any one thing or in following instructions. Common complaints are that the child does not listen, cannot concentrate, does not follow instructions, is disorganized, easily distracted, forgetful, does not finish assignments, and is quick to lose interest in boring activities. Children who are impulsive seem unable to control their immediate reactions or to think before they act. They find it difficult to wait or take turns, have difficulty resisting immediate temptations or in dealing gratification. Minor mishaps such as knocking things over are common, whereas more serious accidents and injuries can also occur. Hyperactivity also takes many forms. Children with ADHD are in constant motion. Sitting still through a lesson is impossible for them. A child may fidget, squirm, climb and run around the room aimlessly. Parents and teachers describe them as driven by a motor, always on the go, and always talking incessantly. Autism Spectrum Disorder This is characterized by widespread impairments in social interaction and communication skills and stereotyped patterns of behavior, interest, and activities. Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder have marked difficulties in social interaction and communication across different contexts, a restricted range of interests, and a strong desire for routine. Around 70% of children with Autism Spectrum Disorder also have intellectual disabilities. Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder experience profound difficulties when relating to other people. They are unable to initiate social behavior and seem unresponsive to other people's feelings. They are also unable to share emotions or experiences with others. They show serious abnormalities in communication and language that persist over time. Many of them never develop speech and those who do have repetitive and deviant speech patterns. Such children often show narrow patterns of interest and repetitive behaviors such as lining up objects or stereotyped body movements such as rocking. These motor movements may be self-stimulatory such as hand flapping or self-injurious such as banging their head against the wall. Due to the nature of these difficulties in terms of verbal as well as non-verbal communication, individuals with autism spectrum disorder tend to experience difficulty in starting, maintaining and even understanding relationships. Intellectual Disability This refers to below average intellectual functioning and deficits in adaptive behavior which are manifested before the age of 18 years. What this means is that they have an IQ of approximately 70 or below and have marked difficulties in areas of communication, self-care, home living, social and interpersonal skills, functional academic skills and work. There are different levels of intellectual disability. People suffering from mild disability have an IQ of 55 to approximately 70. Moderate disability have an IQ of 35 to 40 to approximately 50 to 55. Severe disability have an IQ of 20 to 25 to approximately 30 to 35. And profound disability have an IQ of below 20 to 25. Although the development of people with mild disability is typically slower than that of their peers, they can function quite independently hold jobs and families. As the level of disability increases, the difficulties are strongly marked. People with moderate disability lag behind their peers in language and motor skills. They can be trained in self-care skills and simple social and communication skills. They require a moderate degree of supervision in everyday tasks. Individuals with profound and severe disability are incapable of managing life and need constant care for their entire lives. 
Specific learning disorder. In this, the individual experiences difficulty in perceiving or processing information efficiently and accurately. These get manifested during early school years and individuals encounter problems in basic skills like reading, writing or mathematics. The affected child tends to perform below average for her age group. However, individuals may be able to reach acceptable performance levels with additional inputs and efforts. Specific learning disorder is likely to impair functioning and performance in activities or occupations depending on the related skills. So these are the major types of neurodevelopmental disorders. There is much hope for individuals affected by these disorders. Once the cause of learning problems and disabilities are evaluated, a program can be designed to normalize these areas. Normal functioning can be possible for many of these disorders. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others and subscribe to this channel. As always, thanks for watching.